Hey guys, welcome to another adventure. We're going exploring an abandoned island. You guys ready to go explore an abandoned island again? Yeah! <laughs> Let's do this! When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright oh, All right, guys, if you follow my channel, you'll know that we were here a couple months ago exploring an abandoned island, and we wanted to go to the ruins of an old mansion, but the waves got a bit much for us. Well, we're back, and this time we're in the pontoon boat, so we should be able to handle a little bit more chop, and we've got the whole family with us. You guys ready? Yeah! All right. Lotioning and oiling and lotioning and oiling. Take it anymore! Okay. My eyes! My eyes! <laughs> oh my goodness! You can... no. Oh, let's see this. There we go. Scurvy has set in. Tommy's losing teeth. This little boat's really affected by tide and wind, and we got both of it in our faces. <laughs> If we had our net with us, we might have had a chance. It's a little rough with the five gallon bucket. We better get out of here. We're moving about two miles per hour without the engine on. We, we made those. Super cute. Yeah. Check it out. There's like these big towers with ladders and platforms up there. I oh, man, I want to go see if we can climb up those, but we are so running out of time. On the way back, we're definitely going to explore those. little boy there. He's asleep. That's sweet. <laughs> I think I see it. All right, well I can see the ruins and the old dock, but it is super shallow. We're in one feet of water. I need to figure out how to get this boat stuck on shore, not stuck on an oyster bed. Oh. All right, we're kicking up mud. There he goes. <laughs> no swimming. We made it. We just spent three and a half hours on the boat, but we made it. Oh, look, there's a big crab. Look at this crab. Look at that, look at the size of his claw. Look at that. Yeah, that thing's got huge claws. Be careful. Look at this. There's, there's crabs all over the place. <laughs> look at that. There's crabs everywhere. So cool. I kind of want to have them as pets. I know. Oh, oh did it, did it bite you? Oh, oh buddy, I'm sorry. Get 
Well, you guys, you can see this is a very flat island and a very windy island. If it wasn't for this grass, these small piles of sand would blow away and they would be gone. So it's really important to not harm the grass. So we're gonna set up right here, kind of a flat spot with no grass growing. And that's where our tent's gonna be. The stakes that come with this tent are like this big and so thin and garbage and sand. So I took some uh, steel rod I had around the garage and I made uh, some uh, about 14 inch long stakes. Hopefully these will help. Yeah, those work. First thing we're gonna do is stake this down so it doesn't blow away while I'm working. A lot of people think if you just put enough gear in your tent, it won't blow away. That is false. I have seen a tent with 300 pounds of gear fly up through the air and wrap around a tree because a gust of wind came along. You gotta stake down your tents. Hopefully those custom stakes are long enough. I wish they were about four inches longer, but so far they're doing their job. You know what they say, if the tents are rocking, it's probably because you didn't stake it down well enough and you really should do that. One thing that you can do that's a little bit of a help is put sand on the windward side of the tent so the air can't get underneath the tent and pull it up. When it comes to latrines, my wife has higher standards than the boys, so I made a little something for her. This is a five gallon bucket with a pool noodle to slice it. You just stick that on the rim, nice, soft, clean surface to sit down on. Uh, we got a little sand in the bucket so it doesn't accidentally tip over. And after you do your business, you can either bury it or check it in the ocean. Well, you get stuck. Oh. Oh, I think, I think another crab just pinched Jacob. All right. Where'd you lose your shoe? Some it in one of those pools. Oh, hold on. Ah. Oh. That's your shoe, isn't it? Okay. There we go, two pairs of shoes. Oh, these smell raunchy. Now I'm ready to start cooking dinner. Hold on. It's a little bit of a buzzkill buying store-bought firewood, but we've got a real problem with uh, invasive beetles that are killing trees. So we're not supposed to transport firewood across county lines right now, so. I'm uh, using kiln drying firewood to prevent that. Daddy, look. Basic cotton balls here. I'm kind of pulling them out a little bit. I'm gonna stick one right in there at the bottom of this pile. I'm gonna wrap a bit of cotton ball on it there. I'm gonna light it with my blast match here. Okay. What you got there, buddy? I got my pet hermit crabs. That's I cool, bud. Gorgeous sunset in a beautiful location, roaring fire. As soon as we get a few coals, we're gonna make a dinner to match the scenery. This right here is the best tinfoil dinner ever. Sliced red potatoes, with olive oil, butter, a little bit of salt, garlic. Got some mixed carrots, got a onions, a patty of hamburger seasoned with rock salt, cumin, coriander, and a few other spices. Oh, it's great. Always put the crinkle side down to prevent burning the potatoes and so you know which side is up and which side is down. That's important. Also brought the good stuff. Chocolate whole milk in a glass bottle, man. Oh, that's good. For me and Becca, I also have two well-seasoned filet mignon steaks here. We're gonna fry those up as well. Let's see if this is hot up. Oh.
Every camp out, there's at least one thing I completely brain fart. I brought these for steak. Yeah, I, I've got a knife here. I'll just cut it up. No, I go. No. The potatoes are done. It's done. Get my knife. The way to tell if it's done is the potatoes. If they smush, they're done. What do you think, Mom? Is it good? It's delicious. Nathan's living the dream. He's roasting marshmallows butt naked on a beach. There you go, buddy. All right, guys. I'm out here in waist deep water anchoring up the boat because you really got to be careful. Otherwise, your boat will drift off or your boat will get washed up on high ground at high tide. All right, let's pack it up and start getting to bed. It's 10 o'clock and way past your bedtime. My wife brought toothbrushes. This must be the glamping people are always talking about. Well, the kids are in bed and the weather's perfect, so we're gonna sit underneath these gorgeous stars and watch a movie on my phone. Now I'm gonna see if I can't do a nighttime time lapse so you guys can see what this starry sky looks like. breakfast we're gonna get the camp broke down and then we're gonna explore the ruins right over there and on our way back we're gonna stop by those towers and see if we can climb up them oh. two minutes and 36 seconds that's the time it takes Jacob to get up in the morning and get his PJs covered in mud Oh, you get pinched by a crab? Yeah, I'm catching a the crab. They have huge claws. I think those are fiddler crab. Oh. Did you get pinched too? Oh, they pinched your thumb? Oh, you're brave. Yummy. Yeah, I love that. No, but still good. Oh. My bad. That's on me. Now it's on you. Whoops. <laughs> well, that's why we don't put clothes on them. Morning, Becca. We got lemon cream cake. I keep on hoping. <laughs> cake by the ocean. <laughs> All right, we're gonna start breaking down camp, putting everything away, and as soon as we're done with that, we're gonna go explore that abandoned house over there. In case you're wondering, this is the Field and Stream Eight Man Tent, which I believe is ninety-nine dollars. And I did a review of this tent along with every other tent I own on my tent review video. So. Put a link in the description. All right, guys, you ready to do some exploring? Yeah! Check it out. What? It's a horseshoe crab. No, I don't want to hold it. So apparently this uh, island has a bit of history. A rumor has it Blackbeard the pirate hung out here once and more recently, some rich man bought this island and decided he was gonna raise cows on it and built a house and a lot of other things. And all was fine and good until the first hurricane came along and then they ended up abandoning the island. And here we go, we have an abandoned island. And you can see this is part of the old seawall right here. Oh my goodness, look at all these crabs thousands and thousands of crabs you can hear them scurrying there's so many of them look at all the crabs yeah there's a million of them the crab catch in paradise what'd you find tom found a bone show it yeah, to me that must be a bone from his roommate look like there's some old wall right here this is probably a dock back in the days so I think this is the old jetty. Remember, remember There's so many crabs running away from me right now. I can just hear them. This is called the Crab Island. It feels like I'm touching off, but now I'm... 
Yeah. That must be what. I can see there's more building over here. This old plow right here. What is that, like a winnower? I believe this is for feeding cows. They dump the hay in there and then the cows can sit there and eat at it. Oh. Even, this is I'm, big enough for a tank to drive over here. Look how rusty these pipes are. What? It does look like bread. Bathtub? Yeah, that's the corner of a bathtub. I think I can see a bunch of outbuildings and there's a big house with a large chimney over there. I think that's the mansion. Hey guys, check it out. It's a sink. I totally should have brought the metal detector. Yeah, it's an old transformer. Not like uh, more than meets the eye. This is something that for electricity. Yeah, give me a hand. Right. All right, there's the big house. Now I there's am. some more structures. These little holes. Uh -huh. Those might have been latrines. I don't know. We have the party in it and the way don't they? Oh, there's so many crabs over here. They're running around. That's inside. No, it's dangerous. I don't. I, even I'm not going inside. Pipes on the ceiling. What? Yeah, I wonder what those are. Oh, that's a. Yeah. Gonna try to get to that big house over there. When we be living the ocean. This is an old set of concrete steps right here. So this is probably an old path that should lead us to the house. But man, it's so overgrown. This is kind of elevated right here. So maybe, maybe this is the path. It's a lot like it. When it's cold, do I have Look, there's the house. We're getting close. Who knows? Oh, yeah, it looks like there's a little path here. The yeah, the house is doing a lot better, isn't it? Look at this. Look at these big wooden pillars. This must have been a beautiful home. Yeah, I imagine what. I See a toilet? Yeah, look! Right there! Oh, yep, there is. Look, there's a toilet and there's a plant growing inside it. floor is so spongy like this could really drop this could give way underneath me yeah that's not safe look at that staircase what a beautiful home there's the bathtub right there fireplace all right guys this is as far in as i go i don't want to fall into the basement or have the roof fall on me or step on a nail but that's cool in there Look at this guy, like a little gazebo right here. Mm. Show you this. Uh, yes, yeah, look at all the bamboo growing right there. Look, this is painted bamboo. Are you guys, are you guys getting bit by mosquitoes? Yeah. Yes, yeah, mosquitoes are getting bad. Well, rumor had it that there was an old World War II armored personnel carrier, the amphibious ducks. One of those things was around here somewhere, but man, we haven't been able to find it. I kind of hyped it up a bit with the boys, and so I, 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 feel, I fear I might be letting them down. Looks like the tide's getting high, so we better get heading back. Plus, I want to climb to the top of those two towers we saw on our way back. So let's, uh, let's get going. Well, guys, was that cool? Was that worth all the trouble? Yeah. Now, remember, there's sharks in here. Yeah. Hey, Becca. Hey, Jacob. Hey, Jacob. How you doing, buddy? Good? Uh, All right, we're just gonna eat a quick lunch and we're packing it up and we're out of here. So is that a cool camping spot? Yeah! <laughs> All right, let's go and go see those towers. Well, we know where we're going this time and the wind is to our back. We're making really good time. It should only be about a two hour run instead of a three and a half hour run. Check this out. I think if I had a death wish, I could grab on there and kind of shimmy up and try to go up. But yeah, that looks terribly sketchy. That is all rusted up. 
Look at this one's got like a concrete bunker on top. Oh, guys, check this out. There's a dead shark. Look at this. What? That's a little smaller than the one you caught. He must have got stuck under there when there was a storm. All four pieces of vertical angle iron are completely eaten through. The only thing keeping this from falling on us right now is those cables. Holy mackerel, these things just, a windstorm will knock this down. I have no idea what these towers are for. They look like they're for spotting subs from World War II, but I'm not sure why they'd be here. I mean, there's about two, three miles of land right over there. You know, why not build them on the other side by the ocean? I, I, it's weird. All right, guys, let's get back on the boat. We got a long way to go. Becca, did you have a good time? Had a great time. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed filming this video. If you want to see more great videos from the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, don't forget to click subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday morning. And if you want to see our first abandoned island camping adventure, I'll put a link to that video as well in the description. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to check out the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos just like this. And don't forget to click subscribe so you can see other great videos every Saturday morning. And hit that bell button so you'll get notifications. Thanks for watching.